Stop Show them your real muscle rock. We don't know the strength. <gasps> Guys, watch out. Watch out. Okay, all done. Okay, say bye to them. Bye. Say guy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. Hey guys, it's Christina here doing another quarantined makeup video. I'm definitely missing my videographers, Courtney and Mike, because they tremendously help me when I'm trying to figure out creative things to say or do. But I'm here at home trying to hide from all my kids right now, but they're probably gonna hear me and they're gonna wanna get in the video, which is good because they add a little bit of entertainment. But I'm sure that a lot of moms out there are trying to, at some point in the day, hide from their children. It's just where we are. What I'm gonna go over with today is a bunch of new products that I ordered from Sephora, Ulta, stuff on Amazon. Just some fun new products and some cool tricks that I heard from some other YouTubers. All right, so I've already prepped and primed my skin. I used all of my skincare that I did in another video, so we'll link that below. My skincare routine is not crazy in depth right now. I am almost halfway through my pregnancy. When you're pregnant, you can't use like a ton of really crazy products like retinols, retin-A's. I would be using those products if I could. In the meantime, I have some really good skincare that I'm loving from PCA. A lot of good oils I've been using. But today we are going to unpack some goodies. I got some new brushes just because I felt like mine were just, I just wanted some new fresh kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm buying way too much stuff during quarantine. It's not good. So this is the Ulta Tapered Highlight Brush that I ordered. So we're gonna get into that later because I wanted like a new nice fluffy tapered. I have this one from Mac and I, I like it, but I just wanted something a little bit more tapered. I got the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Claw All-in-One Glow. Um, this one has SPF 23 in it. This is just like for a really dewy, kind of like easy everyday foundation. So I'm not gonna use that today just cause I wanna go for like more of a fun kind of full coverage look today since I haven't really gotten to do that in a really long time cause I don't wear makeup at all ever anymore being quarantined. I also got one that I heard from Tati. It's the Pretty Vulgar Foundation. This is in the shade Cool AF <laughs> and it's 01B5. They call it their like aqua foundation, I think. My hydrofacial rep, Lacey, told me about this product. The Tinted Face Oil from Kozis. Kozis, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Again, I'm not gonna use that today only because I don't want a really sheer coverage look. But I'm really excited to start using this. It says to shake it really well before using it. And it's just supposed to be like a second skin kind of foundation. So I'm excited about that. I think what I'm gonna go for today is a mixture between the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I heard about this through SMLXO. Her name's Stephanie. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her. I watch her all the time, along with Tati. Like, they're two of mine. Just, I love them. I think they're so great. I trust everything that they say. They're just really, like, calming and relaxing to watch. They're not go crazy and high strong. I don't know, I really like them. This is a long lasting foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours if need be. Non-stop flawless coverage. Your complexion will be even and radiant. It's as if your texture of your skin will be tightened. So that sounds good. I'm just hoping my shade is okay. This is the shade 2W0. I also want to try out the CC cream from IT Cosmetics because I see this all over the place. And I'm gonna do like a little a little mixture of both because I like to make little cocktails out of my foundations anyway. I think it's, I very rarely use just one foundation on my clients, on myself. I always, I'm always mixing things. And then another product that I'm really excited about is the primer water. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this today too. This is the primer water from Smashbox. Another foundation that I got that I'm really excited about that I also heard from Tati, which I may end up using this if the Dior is too light, is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So I just really want like that punch of coverage today. And then I might just do my typical boring eye look because I really don't go crazy with color. Maybe we'll do a little bit of color today. We'll have to just see how we're feeling. You never know since I've been stuck in this house for 65 days. Anyway, let's jump right into it. We are going to prime the eyes. I'm just using this Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear like primer stick. I'm just gonna put this all over. And I'm sorry, like my nails are atrocious. I just ordered UV gel light and gel polishes. So I'm gonna start doing that myself. I don't know when the nail salons are gonna be available. 
or what's gonna happen. So I think it's gotta be kind of like satisfying to do your nails anyway, because when I when they're doing it, like at the nail salon, I'm always like, that looks really fun. Like it looks really satisfying to do nails. Oh, and speaking of nail polish. So this is a new nail polish that I just bought and I have it on my toes. It's the Nailtopia. It's amazing. And this color is Kissing in the Rain. It's really pretty. So what do we wanna do with the eyes today? New product that I got, Nude Mood from ColourPop. Like I'll probably get this for my bridal kits. It's really pretty. So we're gonna start with Mugged Off in the crease for our transition shade. I love how good transition shade just really like brings so much life back to the eyes. Everyone's different, everyone has different skin tones and stuff, but like on a really fair person, I probably would use Bare to Wear right here for like a really fair person. You don't want that really warm to just like stand out and kind of take over their eye. It's just so that you can kind of contour your eye, add some dimension, and it's also so that the other shades that you put on kind of melt and fade into this color. I think I kind of want to do like a halo effect of an eye. I'm gonna take this little Laura Mercier corner eye color brush, the color Moody right here. And I'm gonna pack that into the inner and outer part of my eye. I love halo eyes, they're really pretty. Oh my God, I can hear Rocco outside right now, like screaming his karate move noises. Like I just bought him these nunchucks. We have like a point system that we do in our house where if you do something good or if you, I don't know, eat all of your broccoli or do something for me or Mark, like go get the milk downstairs in the downstairs refrigerator. I don't know, like stuff like that. Okay, you get a point. You have to be good, you have to behave, you have to eat your food. And you can also get points deducted. Uh, Rocco calls them abducted. I think he calls them abducted. He's like, you're gonna get points abducted. <laughs> to Olivia when she's being bad. You're gonna get your points abducted. And I'm like, oh my God. But anyway, he's out there really loud with his nunchucks and he's going crazy. So I'm just blending and I'm actually picking up a little bit more of the color that I used earlier and one of the lighter colors. I'm just blending all of that together so that it's kind of seamless. We'll worry about the fallout under my eye in a minute. But yeah, to all the moms out there, honestly, doing a point system is like really helpful. Once they get to 10 points, this is what I was getting at, and then my ADD kicked in. But what I was getting at was that when you get to 10 points, you get to buy a toy. And his toy was the nun nunchucks. So we got like the start of our halo on. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm going to dip it into wink wink. And we're gonna put this right in the center, which is going to create this halo effect. I'm gonna put a little bit of that bronzy one too called Put On Airs right in the middle. I have really been liking the finger method with um, any kind of glitter or shimmer because it just, it just does the job. These are so pretty. And this palette had to be maybe like, maybe $20. I don't know, probably less than that. Honestly, ColourPop is so inexpensive. This palette, will last me so long and I'll keep it in my bri in my kit for my brides. I've never been disappointed from any product from ColourPop. Another one of my favorite products from ColourPop are the, the Super Shock Shadows, these guys. The only annoying part about it is that I hate taking out like a million individuals for my wedding. So I like to find like three or four staples. So one of my favorites is called Lady Bird and I'm gonna put a little bit of this puppy right on top of what we just did just to give a little extra glitz. The consistency of these is so satisfying. Like you put your finger in there and it's like a cloud, but it is so pretty. I'm obsessed with the Super Shock Shadows. The other color that I ordered was called Birthday Wish. And this one has like a pinkish, um, purplish shift to it that compared to Lady Bird. This one definitely is like more of a silvery white. This is so pretty for brides. I miss all my brides, I'm so sad for them. So sad for my brides. So you guys can see how the birthday wish has a little bit more of like that pinkish shift to it. They're both amazing. They're so inexpensive and they're so pigmented and they're so pretty. I'm gonna use the LA Girl, this was like $3, eyeliner, so pigmented. This is the neon eyeliner, Shockwave LA Girl in blackout. I get so out of breath when I'm pregnant, so winded over nothing. Like, I'm, there's nothing strenuous that I'm doing, and all of a sudden I'm like, winded. I'm like, what's happening? But I guess because all of the babies, like all of everything just kind of pushes up on your lungs. I mean, usually that happens like 
when you're further along, but I'm about halfway there, almost. But anyway, I get really winded. So if you guys hear me like out of breath from talking, doing nothing, just out of breath, no big deal. No big deal, NVD, here we are. We are gonna do a little touch of black eyeshadow on that outer part to like add a little bit more depth. You guys know I always love to add a little bit of black to this area. Even if I have liquid eyeliner on, I just still like to just kind of dust it out to make it look a little less harsh. And if I was really feeling crazy, I could even do a little bit of this black on the inner. Might, might add a little touch. And then just blend. Let's get our mascara on. One of my favorites is the Telescopic from L'Oreal. It's been a favorite for a really long time. I like the wand. Some people like like the bigger, fluffier wands. I honestly just really like this one. It's kind of like a comb. Are you okay, buddy? No, when you squirted me with the hose, and you never stop. She squirted you with the hose? Yeah. So you're soaked? Yes. Oh, no. Do you want to get it changed? Uh, Come here. Come here. <laughs> Olivia Lynn. Look at her. Laughing. She's laughing. Yeah. That's it. You're all dry. It was just that. My fans are well, too. You were slapping her? <laughs> you... You're on camera. You slapped her? You slapped her? You did that? Did you do it? I got wet too. You flipped it around at me. Because you got me all she wet. Be sleeping all. No, she didn't even get wet, but I did. Rock, you gotta have better aim next time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Ah. you you guys wake up the baby, big problems. No. Points abducted. Points abducted. Points will be deducted if they wake up the baby. No joke. You guys, you're at what, eight now? You'll go down to zero. This is not Liv's channel today. Got it, sis? You think it's Liv's channel? Not today. Not today, sister. So we're done with the halo eye. We are gonna do some lashes. Putting on lashes is like, to be honest with you, I really don't like heavy looking eyelashes. Like I don't really like the way that it looks on someone's face. It just kind of drags the face down. With certain eye looks, it just looks better if you go lighter. All right, so we're gonna do the primer water. That was interesting. It was like a very thick mist. Not the finest mist I've ever used, but it smells really good. We're gonna go in with a mixture of the Smashbox Studio Skin in the shade 2.3 and the Dior. And I got this new brush, IT Cosmetics, number 101 brush. So I'm just gonna work on the back of my hand, pick up both colors, swirl them together. And so I definitely should have gone a darker shade, but who knew I'd be this dark? Not good. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me see how this pretty vulgar looks. Yeah, the pretty vulgar is a little darker and that actually is a really interesting texture. You guys can see how it's like kind of already oxidizing on my forehead. So that one is a lot darker, but we're just gonna darken up with some contour. I've never had to buy this dark of a foundation shade. When I ordered them online, I swore they were gonna be too dark for me. Now we look a little ghostly, but it took all the color out of my face. So I'm gonna do some contour. Nose itches. Oh. And who else's allergies have been atrocious during this whole COVID situation? I have been nowhere in 65 days or 60 some, whatever. Longer than that, actually. All I do is sneeze constantly. We have like a tree out back that is bursting, bursting with pollen, like to the point where it's like seems a little unhealthy. Like our pool had a thick, soupy layer on top of it of pollen. Okay, so this foundation is a lot more matte than I'm used to wearing, but I actually don't mind it. I'm not one to pick foundations that are like super matte because I'm not really oily, but if you are oily, but you don't want to look dry, I would try these foundations out. So it was the Smashbox and the Dior. I mixed them. And then I did a little bit of the Pretty Vulgar on my forehead because that's where I felt like I needed to be a little bit darker, but um, I put like a pea size amount of that in there. So that really can't like count, it doesn't really count, but it's pretty cool how it, everything has like really dried down and mattified. I don't feel like I look dry, I'm like cracky. So I like that. 
I'm really, really pleased with all three of them. And I'll link these products below too. All right, so for concealer, which we desperately need, we're going in with the Forever Skin Concealer from Dior. This is the color 1CR. And I also got another one in the shade 2N. We're gonna do the 2N today since I'm so dark. And um, I would love to use this one, the Kozis one, because this one's like a really lightweight kind of like gel and it's gonna work perfectly with the oil, the face oil. But again, it's way too light for me right now. And Lacey would yell at me and tell me to wear more sunscreen. But still, I do use sunscreen on my body and I still get dark and I don't want my body to be darker than my face. I like my face to match my body. I don't like a face to be lighter than the body. It's like pet peeve central. And it's happened to me in the past too where I'm like, oh, I should've used a darker foundation there. But I still get, you know, a tan with, with sunscreen. All right, concealer's on. Let's blend that out. I'm gonna use this NYX brush that I usually just blend stuff out with. It's like got a flat like angle and I really like it. My favorite way to blend out concealer though is with a flat foundation brush. Ours is on our website. It is called the flat foundation brush and you just kind of like pat, pat, pat. It's similar to what I'm doing right now. Just kind of keep patting it until the pigment just kind of is brightened up and blended. I don't like to use my fingers for concealer, but you can just see it just kind of lifted and blended. I like beauty blenders too, but sometimes I don't feel like fussing around with getting it wet and doing this and doing that. And I find that if you have the right concealer, you don't have to make it so thinned out. And that concealer is amazing. That's nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more contour. I just need a little bit more. This is also the LA Girl, super inexpensive in the shade Beautifully Bronze. I know Carly um, by Bao used to love the shade Toast, I think it was. And she got me into this. This is a super old MAC. Oh no, this is an e.l.f. brush. I thought it was a MAC brush. MAC used to have a really good brush like this and then e.l.f. kind of came out with like a good dupe. If you can find it cheaper, guess what? It's probably gonna do the trick just as well as the expensive one. Some cases that's not the case, but with like a little blender brush like this, go with the cheaper option but like foundation brushes that you wanna do your foundation with, you definitely wanna spend the money cause hairs will fall out. You'll have to just keep either buying the cheap ones or ultimately buy the expensive one. So another product, another product that Stephanie Letta got me into is the Elia Beauty Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I'm a little picky about my finishing powders. So we're gonna say I hated the Makeup Forever one. Hated. Love Laura Mercier. Love the Ben Nye. I love the one that we sell, the Christina Ruggiero one. It is just like the perfect nude. People love it. It's just called the Loose Translucent Powder and it's on our website and it's amazing. So I'm a little picky. That's nice. That's really nice. It doesn't cast like a grayish, whitish at all. Just really nicely locks in the, um, the concealer. So we're gonna go in with bronzer and I'm also gonna set the face cause I also got the Too Faced Born This Way palette. Turn up the light palette. Here's Soft Focus. It's gonna be a little light for me right now. Here's Glow and here's Dazzle. So Dazzle's gonna be like your highlighter for your cheekbones. And then the other two are just gonna basically give you like a nice luminous effect. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this just like, this is just like another brush that I have no idea where it came from. I'm going to put Soft Focus on my nose and chin not using this as a highlighter, but I do want to just add like that nice soft focus kind of look. I'm not gonna put it on the whole face. I really wanna just put it like on the areas where I'm going to put highlighter. And let's go in with glow for the highlighter. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm not gonna do dazzle cause I don't want like the chunks of glitter in my highlighter. My fav one of my favorite highlighters is the one in the Christina Ruggiero palette that you guys always see me using, the blush palette even though we have this matte, more of a matte finish foundation on. I do like to just add like a nice layer of um, luminosity. We are gonna go in with blush real quick with our Christina Ruggiero Angled Blush Brush. I love this brush, it's just super tapered. It just gets right in the area that I need. Guys, it's, my palette's looking a little sad. I dropped it, it broke, it broke. We're upset. I am going to do a little bit more of the peach and like the bronzy red. Those two together are pretty. I used the bottom two blushes. This blush palette is like holy grail staple. Like I will not use any other blush palettes because, or blushes because this one literally has every shade that you could possibly want or need. 
I'm adding a pinch of my highlighter from Christina Ruggiero just because the palette is open here in my face and it's so hard to resist that one. And I'm just putting a pinch of it, just a pinch, 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 because I love that highlighter so much. Before we do the brows, I'm going to use the primer water because you can also set with this, set and refresh. It's a set and refresh spray, so I'm really happy with it. All right, now we're gonna get in with the brows. Um, Really quick before I do the brows, let me do one thing. Going back into this, I'm dipping into the All Natural and putting this underneath because you guys know I have to have a little buffed out action underneath here. It just gives like more of a smoldery look this way. I feel like this is like Johnny Depp vibes with the non eyebrows like in Pirates of the Caribbean and this like smoldery eye. Do you guys see that? Brows, let's get into it. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Pomade and we're just gonna do exactly not what Olivia did in the last video <laughs> to my eyebrows. Here, let's go. I'm sure there are so many people who are not comfortable plucking their own brows at home that are probably going crazy not being able to go to the spas <laughs> because I mean, the estheticians do such a great job Okay, brows are on. Let's do a little bit of a brow highlight because we need that always. Sometimes I'll do a matte, a matte brow, but um, I don't want that today. Let's see what color I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna do a little, a little pop of this, um, this color pop ladybird. Pretty icy, but it's pretty. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude because everyone raves about this one. And my favorite is Bear from Christina Ruggiero. We are sold out of it. I'm super bummed. I have people on a waiting list um, that we were, we were gonna mail it out to them once we get it in. It's my favorite, but I'm gonna do this one because we're trying new products today. It's pretty. It's definitely a cooler brown, which I like. It's really like skin toned, like nude. And I love the consistency. You can tell it's like one of those gel, kind of like water resistant. Kind of lip liners. I like it a lot. I like the cooler. I like the cooler brown. Iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury is a win in my book. We are going to go in with the shade Bosom Friend from MAC because I had to get that. I had to. And then another favorite that I used to use all the time that I stopped using is called Cookie from ColourPop in the little like lippy sticks. They're so fun. Like you just keep them in your bag and they're just like easy and they have like, they have a little, little tiny applicator and they're just really pretty. So we're gonna go in with Cookie first. Mm, and they're so creamy and they smell good. Okay, that's Cookie. And then we're gonna do Bosom Friend on top in the center. And then I was so excited about this. This is my first product that I'm trying. Um, this is the color called Soulmate, the gloss. And I'm gonna do this. This reminds me a lot of Cloud9, which is my, you guys know, I talk about it obsessively. You guys are probably like, can you stop talking about Cloud9? But Cloud9 was always, is my current favorite. Cloud9 from Christina Ruggiero, go check it out. You must get it, you will thank me later. So anyway, this reminds me of that. It's like a nude with like a little bit of like a gold, um, like a chunky kind of like a glitter, but not too chunky. So this reminds me of that. So that's why I had to get it. And I also like Kim Kardashian and um, I've been wanting to try her makeup for a while. So we're gonna let this right in the center. And I like to go onto the Cupid's bow. I've always done that, but I saw that Scott Barnes did it and does it for the god, the golden god herself, JLo. And I was like, hmm, hello, I do that. I've been doing that. Carly by Belle talked about this in her like really simple makeup video. This is the Edge Booster Stronghold Water-Based Pomade. Sweet peach scent. It's like super cheap on Amazon, this huge thing. It's obviously for your hair, but I'm just taking a little eyebrow spoolie, but I'm just gonna put it in with my Anastasia Brow Pomade just to brush the hairs up a little bit. It is really nice to do this when you have the pomade in, but also on a day where you're just doing nothing because you wanna hold your, your eyebrows up. It's like such a stronghold. So what a cool trick. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into the hair. The makeup is done. I have my hair tied back in a elastic scrunchie from the beauty bar. 
And I'm just gonna show you guys what I would do if I were going out with my hubby or just going out anywhere. I'm using my wand, my hair wand, and I am going to take little sections here. Cool, 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 cool. So I like to just take some small chunks, some big chunks. to it. Olivia likes when I do this to her hair. Oh. <laughs> Look, he's starstruck. He's starstruck. Love you. Yes, do what he's saying. Do that. Do that. Do it, Liv. Like the video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.